Wednesday night. Yeah. That's a terrible, that's a terrible fixture. <laughs> In fact, I, I watch it on, uh, I think, were you watching it on uh, Celtic TV? No, I was on uh, school. Oh, right, see a Celtic, oh my God, see Ross County commentators, man, oh my God, almighty. <laughs> it was Stephen Cragen and some rant, oh, our guy, man, I, one, I think it was the, the maybe the goal, Ralston scored at the end of the game, he was like, um, oh, it's, it's disgraceful Celtic fans. Like, like a few of them were, were half like they were weren't they on the park, they were just on the sideline, nearly coming on the park because Celtic scored the winner. But I bet you see if it was Marlow because he, he used to play for Marlow. See if Marlow scored a winner against somebody, I bet he wouldn't be saying that. So, had to do that on it. Aye, <laughs> <laughs> um, aye, uh, well, let's go back to the uh, the what do you call it, the the lineup in 88, and it's, a, it's a, obviously a lot different from slightly different from the. The lineup from Mullerwell game on Sunday, there. Um, like so, obviously Ralston coming in from the start, uh, Scales yeah. as well. Uh, you've got like Sayer Anovich playing right wing, which is different. Um, you had Montgomery also playing that uh, right back, but left back position, um, which is you know I mean, interesting throughout the game. I know. I know Would you make the first couple of minutes of the game, Aiden? What was the start of the game like? I think I was confident. Yeah. You know, at the start of the game and probably throughout it. But as soon as we got a red card, it was, I felt we could actually, you know, this could go wrong. Aye. Um, I felt that the second half, or even go to, for, for the first half, we got the goal, it was good um, from Abada. Um, it was a good cross. Um, but after that, I think we created a, like, a few chances, but like we, we, we didn't really um, test the goalkeeper from the after the goal, really. And to be yeah. honest, the passing was really really wasn't good tonight, especially the back line, because, you know, we're giving stupid pass away, and, um, all right, see the one where Car- uh, Carl Starr felt in the second half, where he, it's, it's a, it's a, um, it's a elbow into the face, but, obviously the guy's looking at the ball, but I still think it's like, you should, uh, the referee isn't convinced, obviously, books him for complaining, and obviously the second jail is obviously, you know, you can understand from one reason, you know, it might not be the best, it just be a foul and that's it, but I think when the ref sees he's on the yellow, he's just got the opportunity to send them off, really, and it's kind of stupid in the end from Starfelt, because, you know, you're chasing the game, you're you're trying to get a winner, especially up in Dingwall. It's it's uh, it's disappointing from Starfelt, and now we'll miss him for, um, I don't know, if one or two matches, uh, depending on his suspension, so it's, it's tough, because you got at least you can play him for the cup final, um, that's something, yeah. but... Um, I was disappointed by midnight, but uh, going back to the, set, the first half, Aiden, you know, the goal was really work, actually well, well worked, actually, because um, the start of the game, you were seeing a couple of, we're trying to get into the game, but I think Ross County actually got the better start of the game. Um, yeah. You know, there were a couple of good passes, actually, they never tested much of Joe Hart, but, you know, they created a, um, they tested the defence, I tell you that, um, most of the night, and but I was I was happy for a bada, uh, Aiden, just to get on a goal sheet because you obviously know score for a I don't know how many matches now. But to play him up front was obviously not something new because we never played that on Sunday. We played Tumble up front and obviously it didn't really work. So it was something different and I don't think it really worked tonight either. But end of the day he gets his going. But overall I think it was fantastic from Liam Scales. I think it was a good um, uh, good from him as well. It was a brilliant goal overall to be honest. But. Uh, except for Mark, we created absolute nothing. Um, we'll, we'll, you know, attest that goalkeeper. Um, and going to the second half, would you? Well, end of the first half, were you thinking that maybe Ange would make some changes, maybe like Sabada, maybe something like that? Yeah, I think I think I think I know he'd make changes, but he left it a bit late. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I think maybe as it goes on to the other, I think it was about seventy-five minutes he made a couple of changes. Yeah, I, th- Bitono, I think it yeah, was. Um, yeah. And you know, I think I think. You know, put put Moffat on earlier. Let's see what he can do. Yeah. I don't think he really got much of the game, but ev- everyone was like that. But yeah. I think I think when you're, you know, I think I should have spotted that. You know, we're not cruising here. You know, that they're actually putting up a good fight against us. Aye. So I think I think he might have made a change earlier. Um, I expected it basically going into the second half. You know, you're saying Moffat give him time. You know, because he he done because he done actually well. In pre-season, so you've got to see what he got because he's not—he's played for the B team and he's not really 
he's not got a chance in the first team. So I thought he should deserve a chance then. You got I know the cup finals Sunday. I know it's like oh, you, it would be really good for Ange to win the like, first cup under him. But and then you've got to put experience on. And I, I know Beaton played not too bad in that midfield tonight, but he left it too late for Rodrik, I felt. Because as yeah. soon as Rodrik came on, he, you know, cut a good pass to go on Celtic created chances. Imagine if see if he even had them on from you know the whistle from his set going into the second half, you could have got a comfortable lead to in Ross County. May have scored to ne- near the end of the game, but it would have no matter because we've got maybe three goals in the game. So that's something that's disappointing, night Bain. But moving out, moving on a cup, you know, points of the game, we struggled from there on. Um, and Ross County basically deserved a goal. Um, I think sloppy defending involved, but Celtic did not look like themselves from the first half. As soon as they got before the goal, it was really good build up, but from the first half, but the second half, Aiden was really different. Um, mm-hmm. the sloppy passes were really cranked up, and just the the stupid fouls as well. We gave away it was really disappointing, um, especially when it's one each. Um, we'll talk about going about, but especially when it's one each, you're giving daft fouls away, which is not needed. Um, but let's we talk about the goal. It's really poor defence wise from Liam Scales. I know I talked a wee bit there saying he was really good for the build up to the first goal for Celtic, yeah. but um, the first half as I got to say, Liam Scales, he played all right, but. Um, his second, this the first goal for Ross County equaliser is really poor because he loses the man, he lets the man, he lets the man head the ball, and it's, it's. I don't know if Joe Hart can do any better because there's a lot of crowd in the box, but end of the day you've got to you've got to do the better than Liam Scales. I know he's just came in the past couple of games. I think it's done the United game. Um, he's first came in, so um, it's going to be obviously a couple of games that he'll get his maybe sorted that kind of role, but you've got to say he's got to do a lot better there, Aiden, for the. The equaliser. Um, and then from then, Aiden, as you were saying, um, I thought it could have went really bad from it could have gone from bad to worse with that. Um, the sending off, and obviously before that, even equaliser, I think after equaliser, Ross County got a boost, and I think they had the best chances really. Um, you know, yeah. if they took them actually. Uh, but it was really, um, it was really disappointing to see that goal. It was obviously a set piece, and a, it, it just reminds me back to. Last season, Aiden, the amount of goals we conceded from set pieces really, oh, it was like every. Yeah, I, I think I think every old firm, yep. um, apart from the last one, every goal was a set piece. Yeah, I think it was just a choice last season. That just made me that goal last season just made there. It wasn't all right. It wasn't the same kind of goal, but just the the Rebo, I think it was a Rebo deflection from McGregor. Uh, it went in the back of net. Um, through back at I, I, I was just giving me my, my um, flashbacks to that, but the, the fact that you know, Aiden, you know, we came obviously injury, obviously a lot of injuries coming in this game as well. Obviously, up Dingwall as well, very tough place to go to. Um, I know it's Ross County. I know Celtic should be beating them, and they did. Um, but the fact that um, that squad got out of Dingwall with three points, they deserve massive credit in the end. In the end, Aiden, you know what I mean? Um, obviously, Celtic, as I was saying, should be beating Ross County by a mile, like three, three or four goals, but. You know, if you know, putting like some more on, maybe I know not a lot of game time, but still get him on the park. Uh, you got him in the park, like a um, Montgomery. Or you got Montgomery on. You got Irani- Yehanovic at right wing was really interesting. The fact because he wasn't like your Forest, and it was really frustrating a couple of times when we were one 0 up and he was just looking for a simple cross. It was really good pass, in fact, from Ralston. I don't know if you saw it in the first half. And instead of instead of shooting, like just keep going and shooting, he decided to cross it. And I don't know who he was trying to cross it to. I mean, I know he saw a bad in the box, but I don't think he's like six foot, so <laughs> I don't know what you've seen there. So that's obviously a lot different from, you know, a James Forrest who will take his time and crop good cross crossing the box. But you know, you can tell he's a he's not a right wing Juranovic. But um, Aiden, what 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 did you make of the well, just the second half really, or before the goal really? I think I think we were very sloppy. Yeah. I, um, I don't think it was. I didn't expect it. I thought we were gonna go out them. I don't know, change the game a bit more. Aye. You know, just go go and be ruthless. Yeah. Aye. Um, but you know, they did good. I think they they pressed well, they defended well, and they attacked well. Yeah, I think um, I think Mal- 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 Malcolm McKay, pretty sure the manager of Ross County. Um, basically when Ross County got that goal, and especially when Starfield gets sent off, I think he, his tactics really worked really well. He's got his game plan really set because he. You know, I know. All right, Celtic got 
we'll go back to the first half, Celtic got the goal, but, you know, Celtic, as I are saying, our Celtic never, never really troubled after that, and I think that was part of Malcolm Mackay's plans, basically, not to finish finish themselves off in the first half, give them that chance, and they, they took that chance in the second half, because Celtic were really sloppy, as you say, there, and, and the goal's really poor as well, especially, I mean, you got to like say, I know William Scales um, just came in from the team, but got to do a lot better defence-wise there, a lot to do, but... Um, when I built up to the goal, I mean, I was I was watching, just watching the end of the game was really just giving me flashbacks to like our last season, maybe like our Hibs last season, uh, where we drew one each, and we just it was just put, just one of those games maybe I don't know, um, that you know I just felt that's that Celtic's luck is over because you know they, they didn't look like they were going to win the game, and it looked like Gross County were going to win it a few chances the game, Aiden, you were saying at the start, but. Um, you know, Ralston, I mean, what a cross it is from, pretty sure it's McCall McGregor. And just to get the height on that from Anthony Ralston, I mean, a right back up there is sensational. He got up there and it's a lovely header in the back of the net. And the scenes at the end is fantastic because I think Ralston, you know, you know, it's a lot going on since, you know, Foster Coggles came in. Aiden, you know, it's a, you know he's, he's took his chance from Ange and, you know, he's got his Scotland debut and you obviously what a debut that was. He won against Denmark and I think he's probably one of the best players, you know, it's thrived under Ange, you know, because he looked at it in, what do you call it, in, was it when obviously Lennon left, it looked like he was going to go. So, I think he's probably, you know, up, he's deserved a lot of things, you know, that's come in his career under Ange. I think the player was always, I think the player was always in there. Aye. I just, I just never think he was given a chance, you know, with Wustig and all these players. Aye. I don't think we gave him enough chances, and he went on like this in Johnston. Um, I don't really know if he did well there, but you know, I think I think he's always been a good player. He's just not really knew what to do with. Aye, um, and he was, he's definitely took his chance. Unlike somebody, Mikey Jones, who never played tonight. Well, that's an injury concern. I do not know, but um, as long as they don't have any part, just to know that's fine with me. Um, but <laughs> but we, you know, I, I'm just ha- delighted to get a three points, Aiden, because it was looking and the commentators really kept rubbing it, and it was really annoying. They kept saying, "Oh." Rangers have won the game and um oh it could be the gap could be back up to um what'd you call it? Seven. Aye, seven or aye six. Yeah, six points. But um you know, I was just, I was just to lot rub it in the end. I know they they couldn't hear us, but just to rub it in the end when Ralph won I mean, I was brilliant, fantastic. Uh, but to be honest, I think obviously they were just they were discussing it on the uh the the I was just watching something last night and they were saying that, you know, He's des- I was talking about Ralph Snare, and you know, he's probably got all these good things in his career now under Ange because, you know, he's played every game, on obviously injured, a couple of injuries, but, um, you know, un- like, unlike Patterson, you know, he might be might be good, but, like, um, he's not played every mostly every game for Celtic this season, so, um, you know, there's a difference, and I think Ralph will really thrive, especially, see if he gets keep getting sc- called up for the Scotland squad and gets his... Um, up a game time under Steve Clark, I think he'll really, really become a good right back for Celtic, and I think he'll become, if not now, um, the best right back in Scotland. I think he is, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. I mean, I mean, I think, I think the difference between Ralph and Patterson, Patterson was through right in there. You know, he, he never got, he never had to wait his Aye. chance. Aye, he was right. always. I think, I think it was like Royal Antwerp or something. Thrown right in there, and he played well, got a goal, I think. Aye. And we throw Ralston right in there. I don't really know if anyone else was starting at the start of the season. Mm. I think he was just straight in there, scored yeah. in his first game against Hearts, and yeah. he, he took a chance. You know, we keep saying it. Yeah, um, absolutely buzzing. He got he got his the the the, the winner in eighteen because just uh, it's so important. I, I know we've got the final on Sunday, but it was really important tonight. We kept up with Rangers because they've got a game on Sunday, and if this gap opened to six points and we never got the winner tonight. We could have been, was that six, six? We could have been nine points behind Rangers after potentially winning the the cup final on Sunday. So uh, yeah, uh, that would have been really, you know, I know you might have won the, the cup final on Sunday, but that would have just been a, you know, something to look on saying, you know, what happens if we did win the game of Ross yeah. County? But we did, and um, it's absolutely nothing better. Well, I would have loved uh, a comfortable win tonight against Ross County, but draw you know nothing better than a, an absolute. Um, last minute winner from you know what himself Ralston. Um but I'm just gonna ask you just mainly Aiden, you know, um going to this cup final you are you looking um 
forward to it, you're looking like comfortable still. Do you think, do you think Celtic would be comfortable going into this game against uh, Hibs? I mean, I, w- I, w- I want to see what happens with all his injuries. No, I think, I think if, if we're going in the game with Mickey Johnson or a bad at striker, um, I think I think my opinion on it will change. Yeah. Uh, I think if you've got Keogh going there or um, someone like that, yeah. Jack Amagas even, you know, I think he can do a job. I think. Um, aye. Um, I mean, I, th- I think if you know, if a badder wants, if a, if a badder's playing through the middle, aye. Then, you know, uh, he, he scored today. A bit of confidence in him. Yeah. But nah, nothing can be nothing beats Kyogo. Yeah. And hopefully Ange does the same thing. I know we get hammered for now after Leverkusen, but it creates some good chances. So, like, we should have scored against Leverkusen when he first came back after that injury. Um, so hopefully maybe Ange, you know, does the kind of same thing against Tibbs and we win the cup. Because of that, um, fingers crossed, but the only important thing is that night Aiden, we close the gap again to four points. The three points is very crucial tonight, and I think that'll get, hopefully, fingers crossed, more confidence uh, for all the Celtic uh, boys for Sunday. Um, I'm looking forward to it, but as you're saying, Aiden, your opinion might change depending on seeing this line up on Sunday. But overall, I'm buzzing to get this three points tonight, Aiden. Um, overall, we've got to say, just don't know who there, if there was going to be a man in the match, but probably it's going to be the, the winner, maybe. Who's your man in the match tonight, Aiden? And that's probably... Um, it's, it's a weird one. It's probably not the obvious one, but I think Carter Vickers. Yeah. It was good tonight. I think... I think he I think was solid throughout the game. Maybe at times he was a bit sloppy, but, you know, yeah. he's, he's just a defender that we've been asking for for a bit. With it, Shane Duffy coming in, and yeah. he wanted a solid defender in there. He's definitely, he's definitely solid. He puts in the tackles, by the way. I think there was one chance in the first half, the second half. He just wins. He just halves them or something like that. It's a very win, good tackle as well. Um, but, again, thanks, Aidan, for coming on, mate. And um, Just discussing the, the Ross County, obviously, a big three points again. And we'll, prob- we'll try and have you on for um, the podcast probably on Friday for the, the Cup final preview and all that. So if you want to come on in, that'll be, that'll be all right. So yep. um, I'll see you in, Aidan, and thanks for coming on again. See you later, mate. All right.